For the third and probably final time, we are once again outside of Thurso Station. Why are we here this time? Well, as you may know, Thurso is the most northern station in the UK. Well, also it's the most northern station on ScotRail. And we're going to travel to the most southern station served by ScotRail, which is Carlisle. We have uh, once again abducted Stu, and uh, he is going to be joining us down the far north line to uh, Inverness. So uh, that's going to be fun. Uh, we're going to go ahead inside the station now, because it's about 10 minutes on our train. So let's go. Let's do it. Woo. To the trains. We appear to be heading to the platform just in time because the train, yeah, you can just see it down there, is pulling in now. So, we are going to be on this train for almost four hours, all the way to Inverness. Now, uh, I've woken up this morning with quite a splitting headache, uh, so I might be using this uh, journey to uh, catch up on some sleep, so um, uh, Nat and Sue can take the wheel. Deja vu. <laughs> Hello, Stu. Since you've visited every station, what would you say is your favourite, for view wise on the far north line? On the far north line, it's got to be, it's got to be Force Nat. I think the views out across the uh, the moorland is pretty special. Yeah, well, we, we've we not been to that yet, so at some point, me and Nick can go. Yeah, we've got I, rec I recommend going there. We've got to com still could complete between Force and Ard and uh, Dingwall. So, yeah, so. The, the top half, the bottom <laughs> the half. half but there's there's, there's the a middle. big missing piece I think, of the I middle. think the middle bit's the best bit. Yeah. So apparently we have a uh, delayed train coming here at Helmsdale, so we're waiting here for a few minutes, so may as well get out, have a look. Look at this, this is great. It's so it's beautiful. beautiful. Yeah. Unfortunately, this doesn't count as actually taking <laughs> it off because we're getting back on the same train, but who made these rules, honestly? Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> Halfway now? Yeah, so we're well, getting there. Halfway to Inverness, nowhere yeah. near halfway the entire journey. We've still got yeah. a few hours on it and a train to. It's Edinburgh very like windy and bendy, the line, isn't it? I mean, the views are worth it at least. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> I think we might be stopping at Colrain. Hey, someone's getting yeah. on. Yeah. Nice. We've actually stopped at Colrain. Oh, this is great. So this train's running about eight or nine minutes late now. Hopefully, we should actually be making back some time before we get back to Inverness. So. Uh, it should be all right. At this point, it's less of a uh, concern for us. It's more like Stu and his connection, because you've got a bit of a tighter connection than we do. So, uh, yeah, ideally. 11 minute connection. We're yeah. Late. Mm, that wouldn't be ideal. We've left Bewley. We have one stop to go. My legs are hurting. We've been here for four hours already. Thank you. And we are at Inverness. After four hours, let's continue. Well, goodbye then. Goodbye. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. And so for our first time, we can get on an Inter 7 City. Inter 7 City, what do you think? It, look, it looks amazing. The only downside is that everything seems to be reserved because we have Spirit of Scotland's rovers. We don't have reservations. Yeah, we could have reserved ahead, but we didn't uh, know well, we didn't yeah. know whether we'd make it or not. So hopefully, it should all be fine. We're Owl. in unreserved seats right now, so we'll make do. Also, it's rather bizarre seeing the Caledonian sleeper just stabled here in like the middle of the day. I'm not used to that. So 
Someday we'll take it. Someday. Also, the whole upside down charger thing is a completely genius bit of simple design. So after our previous four-hour journey, we now have the joys of another four-hour journey. <laughs> oh well, at least we get to chill after the long days of the past two days. The, the what? Was that English? Long days of the past two days. <laughs> oh, long days of the past two days. Oh, I don't know. I thought you said like passing jays or something. I, I need to get my ears checked. I don't know about you, but as nice as they are, I'm getting a bit sick of just views of hills constantly. And just f nothingness and fields. I don't know. No, I'm not sick of them. You're not? No. Oh. The blues are definitely beginning to hit me of uh, lots of long journeys. Two four-hour journeys in a single day is definitely, uh, I feel like it's beginning to take a slight toll on me, but we'll power on. So we're now approaching Perth and we have another guest joining us. Well, we left Perth and we have acquired a Coastway Will. <laughs> Afternoon. If Nick gets any pronunciations wrong now, it's all his fault. Because I've had to help him with pronunciations. I will, I will try my absolute <laughs> best, I promise. So, uh, we are getting within the bounds of Edinburgh, aren't we? That's right. So, um, Haymarket shouldn't be far off. We're getting off at Haymarket instead of Edinburgh Waverley for giving ourselves a bit of extra time. So these inter seven cities, which are from the 1970s, refurbished in the late uh, 2010s, are a bit old, a bit tired, but at least Scotrail refurbished them with humour, because behind Nat here, just make sure to stay out, because... Um, tartan paint storage. <laughs> We're storing all the tartan paint That's totally there. what that's for. Yeah, but definitely. also, if you go on some other ones, you'll get things like, um, live haggis transportation. I saw in another coach somewhere that was like bagpipe practice room <laughs> as well. Yeah. Humbled Whiskey Distillery is the oh. other one. So there's some law for you. Very it's fun. a Seven Very City fun. law. We've stumbled across the uh, Highland Chieftain, Eleniata Inverness once a day. I don't fancy going back to Inverness though, so I'll let it go. So the only reason we actually came to Haymarket in the first place was because I was hungry and we wanted to go to M&S and have enough time to do that. We were going to go to Edinburgh, but we haven't in the end. Um, but we're going to get the final train now to Carlisle, which will be Avanti West Coast. It's the special Leven train. Hey! As of when we're filming this, Leven is due to open in two days' time. Uh, it's probably opened a few weeks ago, as of when this video goes out. But. <laughs> Well, this train runs for, thankfully, not for four hours between our destinations. Uh, we actually are only on here for a bit over an hour. Straight to Carlisle, no stops. Ah, this is a nice relief after everything we've had so far. Oh wow, more hills. I've not seen enough of these today. So we went through Carstairs Junction, which is near the station of Carstairs. Now Carstairs to Lockerbie is now the longest place in the UK between two stations, um, which I can't remember the exact mileage, so here it is on screen um, for once we research it after.
years after some passage of time that we are now back in England. Oh no. Uh, oh. <laughs> I didn't realise I could rest my camera here, just like on the ledge. <laughs> That's cool. It's a bit precarious, I feel like any sort of sudden movement and it'll fall off. But yeah, we're slowing down and I think we are heading into Carlisle any minute now. Carlisle, yeah! We made it! Oh my god, we've Scotland, here we are. the entire <laughs> length of Scotland, plus a little bit extra to Carlisle. How have we done this? Well, Will hasn't. Will, Will's faked. I, I Will, Will faked it. it. Yeah. Did. I did half of it though. Perhaps about halfway. Close enough, halfway. close enough. <laughs> Nowhere near halfway. <laughs> Mad though, oh my god. Anyway, that was a cool 10 hours. Oh I think god. this is the longest video. Is, this, this is the longest a video has taken to film. We started at half at eight yeah. in the morning and finished at six p.m. Actually, this was very similar to our GeoGuessr one. We fit. We got. It was. Yeah. We got home at six. Well, we finished at six and started around at eight. Oh well. <laughs> anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video, and uh, yeah, I suppose I will see you next time. Goodbye. Bye. See you later. And of course, a massive shout out to all my patrons and channel members who are listed on screen now. Thank you very much for supporting the channel.